So, welcome to this uh, next instalment of uh, video help. In this video, we're going to look at integrating a Profibus PA device into PCS7 version 9. If I just look at my current project, so rather than creating a project, I've deleted an item from it. So it's this Citrans Pro Value, Saturn Profibus. And over these two videos, I'm going to show you how to integrate it into your normal operator screens. But also, as you can see, I us go down to my Profibus PA network, how to generate the faceplate here on maintenance station. So let's start by having a look at our project. So the first thing we need to do is open up our hardware screen. So and integrate the product into there. So you can see the gap where it used to be. If I go through my library, it's a level sensor. Okay. It's a six meter probe. Drag that onto the network. Give it the address of 10, which is the address programmed on the unit. Then the only other thing I need to do then is have a look at my analog block. So if I want to bring two values back, if I delete the free space, then it will. I've got a spare block there. And if I open this up, I can have that as an analog input. And I can drag that into there. So there's the device in the library. The addresses are configured back to what they used to be. And the only other thing you need to do then is because PCS7 is symbolic and absolute addressing, but you'll see in a minute, is we need to edit the symbols. Because I've used the same uh, addresses, they're, they're already there. Okay, so you can see LU out. So we can compile that. Once it's compiled, download it to my 410 automation station. It's a safety PLC, so I need to put the password in for that. So I can see now that my devices are online. If I wanted to, to use PDM to configure that device, I can just double click that device. And because PDM is integrated into PCS7, I'll be presented with the, the menu set. Now the probe actually out in the field hasn't changed, but because I put this into the project, this is the default set of parameters. So the first thing we need to do is to synchronize the project. We need to, to re-upload. So you can see now it's done an upload because it's got the tag from the device. And you'll see these symbols on the right hand side will change. Um, any parameters that it's struggled with you'll see those highlighted in the file structure. So if I had to program this from scratch on this Siemens device, I could use the quick start wizard. I'll just quickly take you through this. So you could do level or volume, parabolic end. You can put in the dimensions of your parabolic end, your calibration points in level. So your X and Y points, your high calibration point, your low calibration point, what you want to the output to read in and what the volume is at your um, uh, level of 1.4 meters. Once you've done that, you're going to click on apply and transfer. So that device is set up. So we can close that down. We're now finished with the hardware screen. Just need to make a mental note of these addresses or the symbolic address that we used. The 
photo. If we come back to our process object view, I want to put this device under um, my liquid application. So I can insert a new CFC. I can call that, I'll call it Proval underscore U, and then I'll go and insert that. Now, here's your libraries. There's a few analog blocks for, you know, that you can use. So we're in, we're, uh, it's an FB Anna in. So I can search on that. So FB analog input. So FB is um, will take in communication. Uh, so what do we mean by that? So this block will work with Foundation Fieldbus, Profibus DP, Profibus PA, and Heart devices. So I have to make the interconnection, and I think we call it LU out. I can see it there. And then the only other thing I need to do is manually set the scale. Well, it was 2,000 litres. And then you have to put your units in this parameter here. In this particular example, we're going to set that to what it was before. So I'm going to put this mon, mon analog block in. Okay, and I just need to to link those two together. So that's finished compiling. So it's made the interconnections. All we need to do now is download that. And when that's downloaded, we should be able to go online and start to see some process values moving through our blocks. We've added that now, the data's moving, it's all good on the automation station, so that takes us to visualization. If I close this down, and go to my liquid application where my pro value is, right click, plant hierarchy, uh, create block icons. So the last thing I need to do, it's created my block icon, is compile my OS. So, so don't forget, as I mentioned in previous blogs, this demo room is an ES and OS. So all I have to do here is a compile, and then refresh my screens. But if it's an OS, I would have to do a compile and then a download. Okay, so it's compiled with no errors. So if I go to my project now and just refresh the screen, I can see here there's my pro value, the process value on, okay, my, my scaling and my units in millimeters. What I would say is you can here, you can set these alarms within the faceplate, um, for the sake of time I didn't do it within my CFC and really that's the correct way of doing it. So if I go back to my CFC and have a look in there, you'll see what I'm talking about. So these values here, we should be putting these in and um, downloading those and compiling them. So the project matches the, the automation station and that's where uh, visualization part will get its values from 
So we've created the CFC, we've uh, done the visualization. The last part we need to do is to um, set the maintenance station screens. And the first thing we need to do is on the PDM, if we go to settings, you'll see here maintenance station. And let's just make sure we're using the correct project. So we'll assign the current project. So nothing's changed there. If you've made any changes, it's always advisable to start and stop the PDM asset service. And then if I go to my process object view under here, so I've been working under these screens. When you have maintenance station, you have this diagnostic tab. So when you have the maintenance station license installed. So I right click that plant hierarchy, but rather than creating block icons this time, I'm going to create update my diagnostic screens. So it's fin finished generate my diagnostic screens, but don't forget that's a change to my OS. So let's quickly compile that. Okay, so that's compiled. So if I now go to my Diagnostic tab on my OS. I can see there's my Pro Value diagnostic screen. And that all is all working. If I want to open up PDM from here, it will do it via the web browser. So there you have it. To to generate my maintenance station screens once I've got the license and uh, the tags installed it's actually two or three button presses within the PCS7ES and it's all up and running very simple to get all this advanced diagnostics so thanks for listening